No, I don't think so. so I, the COVID taught us a lot. So first of all, I think it heightened the awareness of governments that pandemics happen. Because for a lot of governments, pandemics, these were things that happened to other people. So I think a lot of governments aware pandemics do happen. And when pandemics do happen, it's it's pretty bad. I mean, the economy gets really clobbered. Um, and also, if we have an influenza pandemic, it could be much worse than that COVID pandemic. COVID was potentially a walk in the park compared to what influenza could be with you know, a much younger age group. Um, we've already got influenza vaccines, which is, I guess, a good start. But we know that in the event of a pandemic, those vaccines will be meet at best one quarter of the world's population in the first year, which is why we were building vaccine production. Now, mRNA and the viral vectors and these other things that have been de developed during COVID, these will, of course, play a role in responding to a pandemic. But once again, we will be reactive, fighting fire by developing the tools uh, once the fire is broken out. It would be far better if we followed the, the roadmap and actually develop tools such as a universal vaccine, which will not be dependent on the strain of the influenza outbreak, but will be used all the time. But I think we're, there's still some immunological barriers that we have to understand before we're able to actually know with certainty that we can make a vaccine that will provide long-lasting protection against any influenza virus for, 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 for time.